uh, Ryan, it's absolutely important to hear uh, all of the arguments in these types of issues, especially uh, picking up on Kathleen's question too, how they dovetail with one another. Uh, those who are in the region, uh, again, with regard to the Yamuna project, we don't have a pre-established agenda for the Yamuna River that we're bringing there. We're interested in bringing together people involved in the region who live in the region and who have the resource resources for thinking about it. So this whole project is oriented towards on the ground voice, people at the table. So I guess my response would be that quite often those very people that you mention who are employed with regard to coal mining activity, uh, very seldom do they have a voice in uh, the overarching uh, project of mountaintop removal itself. The only way they can come into it is by joining some uh, either environmental resistance group or some group that's trying to explore what this is about. There's, there's rarely a, an opportunity for someone who's, say, in a in, in neutral perspective, someone who hasn't made a decision yet, how they feel about uh, mountaintop removal. There's very little settings in which they can begin to explore what their role or what their on-the-ground activity, ha uh, what effect it has in relationship to this project. So the Religion and Ecology Project is uh, trying to mm, develop forums in which different voices can, can uh, come together. And certainly those uh, with regard to employment in the region are crucial. But again, my uh, response to uh, Kathleen, uh, I would repeat it, that it's not the uh, stopping of coal mining in the region, it's the exploration of how many jobs are really related to mountaintop removal. Are there other ways of getting coal? And what, uh, what are the environmental consequences of both of those types of uh, coal mining? 